Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 19th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. But keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. Timing is fluid. I find sometimes these readings happen the day that I do them. Sometimes it's the next day. Sometimes it's like three days, okay? So, you know, whatever. What do we have for a message today? Five of Wands reverse, and the Five of Wands reverse could be the end of a conflict. It could be. This could somebody's been in a tense situation. Uh, they could be moving on from it. This is the, like the end of the competition. I'm done fighting, you know, giving up, giving up the battle, uh, choosing not to. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to compete. I don't want to play. Ooh, trying to find balance. That's where we're at. We're trying to find balance. This is being flexible, adapting to change, making a choice. So, we got somebody here that's been going back and forth. They've been, uh, I feel like they've been trying to prove, prove something. Somebody's been trying to prove something. They've definitely been going back and forth. It's been like a teeter-totter, tug-of-war kind of situation. Up and down, you know. All over the place. Not wanting to give up. Not wanting to give up, but needing to. This may be a financial decision. It may have something to do with an emperor here. I'm not sure. Appears to be. This is taking charge, okay? This is taking charge, uh, getting organized, um, making a decision, uh, basing it on the facts, uh, doing the right thing. So somebody is going to be making a decision. They've been going back and forth. This is about getting organized and bringing structure, you know, taking control. So this is about taking control. Ace of Swords. Now this is a new beginning, right? This is the truth, it's clarity. Uh, taking taking the power. This is the sword of truth. It's the sword of power. A wake up call. Uh, seeing the truth. A new idea. Taking a new approach. Somebody's going to be taking a new approach. They've been struggling. They have been. The Empress. So the Empress is a birth, right? It is a birth. It's beautiful. Seeing, because that's clarity. The Ace of Swords is clarity. A new beginning. The Empress is uh, a domestic goddess. It's a period of growth. It's a very fertile time. This is about love and abundance. Looks like she has a crystal ball in her hand. Very enlightened, beautiful. So she's about to receive a gift because she gives birth to a gift. There's birth here. Could be a rebirth. Giving up. We have somebody here that is giving up. They're not playing games. They're done playing games, seeing very clearly. Somebody is seeing very clearly that they need to make another choice with that two of pentacles. They're getting some sort of clarity, seeing the truth. Could be the empress. You know, the empress knows her value. She's, she's, she's beautiful, right? She has many, many, many options.
six of swords right next to the empress so somebody's moving they're moving on it's a time of transition i'm not sure if we have a mother here or or it's a feminine a feminine that is moving on she's going to in a different direction mm -hmm. It's interesting that I chose to wear green because the Empress is very, she's a natural. She's all down to earth and all that. Anyhow, um, so we, Empress moving, moving in a new direction, going in a new direction, moving on. So somebody is moving on. Or they're moving, they're going in a different direction. It's usually with the Six of Swords, there's two people in that boat. In, in this case, there's only one. This is definitely the end of a conflict. It's like somebody was struggling. They may have been uh, betrayed or neglected or abandoned or pushed away. You know, and the Empress, the Empress is the queen of all queens. You know, you push the Empress away, she's fine. She's, she's beautiful, she's fine. She has other options. Anyhow, we do have an Empress here that appears to be moving on. She's, she's done playing games by the looks of things. Maybe she's been going back and forth, you know? Uh, maybe she had too many options. She didn't know what she wanted to do. Anyhow, Ace of Swords, that is taking a new approach, seeing very clearly, ac accepting the truth. Moving on. Oh. Judgment reverse just flipped over in my hand. Moving on from that bad choice. That's what this is. Poor judgment call. But this is gate, right? It's underneath the Five of Wands reversed next to the Ace of Swords. That is seeing the truth. There's been a denial. I feel like we have somebody here that's been in denial. You know, they didn't want to see the truth. They didn't want to accept the truth. I mean, judgment reverse is lack of acceptance. Lack of truth. You know, it is. Somebody didn't want to accept the truth. You know, they, they may have been hoping for a reconciliation or hoping for somebody to give them a chance. So they were holding on. It was causing a lot of pain. You think of that tug of war. It hurts to play that game. It hurts. It's right underneath the five of wands. So I feel like we have somebody here that was part of a competition, right? They were. They were dealing with a player. Two of Pentacles, juggling's a game. They were, and so is the Five of Wands. Somebody was dealing with a player. They were dealing with a player and they're refusing to accept it, refusing to see. But now it's like moving on from that bad choice. You know, they made a poor judgment call. We have somebody here that has made a poor judgment call. They were playing games, but the game is over by the looks of things. It looks to me like the game is over because the Five of Wands is reversed. This is the end of a conflict, right? This is relief, okay? Birth, birth. Giving birth. Taking a new approach. Nine of Wands reversed underneath that Empress and the Ace of Swords. So Nine of Wands reversed is extremely challenged. Great personal fear. Somebody is very fearful, distrustful. They don't trust. They don't trust. No chance. No chance. Somebody may not have a chance. They don't have a chance because they're a player. I mean, they don't have a chance. You can't play games with the Empress. You can with, uh, with people that Empress wannabes. But you can't play games with the Empress. Giving up. The Empress is giving up. Nine of Wands reverse. She's giving up. She doesn't. She's giving up. She is. She's giving up. Giving birth to a new life. Glowing. I mean, the Empress is glowing. Ten of Swords, the death of a situation. This is, I don't know, this is it. This is the end. It's over. Goodbye. This is it. This is somebody that has been stabbed in the back, right? This is definitely giving up. I can't do this anymore. I can't. I mean, it's right underneath the Empress again, next to the Nine of Wands. Reverse is definitely giving up. 
I feel like we have a feminine that is beginning to see something clearly. She's moving on. She's moving to a better place. She's going someplace or she's just giving up. It's like, this is it. This is rock bottom. This is it. It's over. It's over. It's completely over. It is. Mm. Queen of Cups reversed. Disappointing. Emotionally disappointing. It is. It's sad. It's sad. Um, we may have somebody here that has closed themselves off emotionally. You know, they're not giving their love anymore. They're, I mean, the Queen of Cups reversed is, is emotionally withdrawn, uh, heart shut down, you know, shutting down the feelings, uh, closing off, closing off the heart. Um, This is the death of a situation. Somebody is moving on. This is the end of a battle. We also have somebody here that has been reluctant. Well, I already said it. In other words, reluctant to let go. They, it feels like they've been refusing to accept the truth. You know, but now there's going to be some... A goodbye. I feel like it's a goodbye. There's obviously two choices here. With the two of pentacles, that's two choices. There's two options. We have we have an empress here and we have somebody else that, you know. I don't know, somebody's moving on. This is emotionally disappointing. There could be some tears that are shed. There could, definitely is a goodbye here. I'd be like, I, I really feel like there's a goodbye. The ten of swords next to the... Uh, six of swords that is a transition okay it's a rite of passage it is moving it's the end it's the end we have, an, we have a feminine here that has reached the end she's reached the end of a rope there's no chance there's no chance of reconciliation by the looks of things this is a definite decision to move on this is somebody that is making a definite decision it feels like they've made their choice they're definitely moving on they're traveling they could be moving somebody could be moving this is a, going a distance expanding They've made a decision, a decision, somebody's moving, they're going someplace. They've decided the future looks bright, focusing on the future, letting go of the past. Judgment is a card of past, I'm letting this go, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Three of Wands, going, going in a different direction, totally. So it's got the Ace of Wands, just going for it. It's definitely a very fertile time, so this is about giving birth to a new life, going in a new direction. Definitely. May, maybe an emperor. I mean, we did see an emperor, right? And that emperor makes a decision. So we may have an, an emperor that's choosing between two options, moving on from that bad, poor choice. But it feels like the empress has made a decision. She, it's over. It's over. She's, I mean, you don't fuck with the empress. We could have a, I mean, we have Taurus. Oh, there we go. We have Taurus. We have Libra. And then we have uh, with the Queen of Cups reversed, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We just had three cards. Oh, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the Hanged Man. So we got, now we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Pisces over here. Um, we have somebody here that is trapped. Okay, they're tied to a situation right here. They're trapped in a situation. Uh, they've been stuck in that situation. They've been letting fear get in the way. They've been struggling to let go, uh, held back, you know, wasting time, uh, sacrificing themselves needlessly. 
um, with these two cards. That's a needless sacrifice. It's staying put in a desperate situation uh, because refusing to change. You know, you have somebody here that has let their ego and their pride get in the way of their freedom, get in the way of their their growth. And it is definitely a time of growth with the Empress because the Empress, she grows things, she nurtures things, she babies things. I mean, she, she does everything with love. And I feel like we have an individual that hasn't been following their heart. They've been extremely scared. Maybe they've been fearful of rejection or fearful of letting go of their current circumstances. Struggling. This is a big struggle right here. Uh, mental turmoil, mental conflict, restricting themselves. Somebody has been restricting themselves, refusing to let go. This is refusing to let go, refusing to open themselves up, refusing and playing it safe, protecting themselves. And I saw that with the shield. I saw the shield and the Empress card. So somebody's been protecting themselves. Um, but it's time to move on from that bad choice and take a new approach and let go, you know, let go of your fear and step into new territory. Um, now, the Queen of Pentacles is about being grounded and being stable and secure. We have a very hardworking, independent, very motherly energy here because this is the Earth Mother, right? So there's, and with the Empress, there's motherly, there's, there's stable, solid, secure, devoted, uh, loyal, Somebody has a golden opportunity that, you know, in the, in the palm of their hands. We have somebody here that, um, is struggling. They are really, really struggling with taking an opportunity. It's like they, they it's like they see it because I see the clarity with the Ace of Swords, that's clarity. It's like they see a golden opportunity, but they're very scared of it. They're scared of it. They're scared of moving or they're scared of uh, saying goodbye to somebody. Great personal fear. That Nine of Wands reversed. This is giving up, giving up, moving on. They may be seeing they may, be, they may be seeing that whoever they're dealing with is giving up, is going in a new direction because they're wasting time. Somebody is wasting time. They may be holding on to something that is financially stable, but there's no love here. Okay, there is no love. There's no love for it. The Queen of Pentacles is very grounded, very practical, very, this is the Queen of Value, okay? She's the Queen of, she knows her value. She is the Queen of Value. She's the Queen of Money. She's the Queen of Value. She's the Queen of Stability, Security, Hard Worker, very hard working. Somebody is, is they have an opportunity for stability. They do. But they're going to need to replace their fear with faith and let go. They need to let go of their fears, let go of their, their, their whatever they're currently holding on to. Step outside of their comfort zone. They need to stand up and, and let go. Let go. Be open-minded. Be open-minded. Open your heart. Somebody needs to open their heart. There's a solid, stable offer here. There is. There is. There's a solid, stable offer here. If you are a masculine, it's from an empress. I feel like there's some sort of freedom here as well. Freedom from... I don't know if it's a loveless situation or what with the Queen of Cups reversed. It's like... I feel like there's emotions all over the place. Refusing to let go, hiding something, held back, mental turmoil. Somebody is hiding, it's like they're hiding their feelings. They're playing it safe. There's a need to take a new opportunity take it stop playing games with the player the 
There's a missed opportunity here. Somebody has is missing a golden opportunity. And they're suffering. They feel it. They feel it. They know. They know that they're missing a golden opportunity. They're missing a golden opportunity with an individual that is moving in a new direction. And they know it. But this person is unwilling to change with the hangman reverse. That's I'm unwilling. I'm unwilling to look at things from a new perspective because of ego, because of pride, because of fear. This person feels like, you know, they're entitled. They're not, they, they don't want to be held accountable for their actions. They want to keep playing games. So they're losing an empress. We got a player here that is losing an empress. She's probably going to get a new baby. Good luck. 